guys, thank you so much for being here. This is such an amazing turnout. And um, what, a, what a reception we've had all the way through the streets. I mean, those kids down at the Tower of London, and that could make a real difference. These, this is why these things are so important. But, you know, I find it really interesting. I'm just wondering if that chocolate's for us. But I, I find it really interesting that we're in the city where it's all about wealth, it's all about numbers. So I've got some numbers for you. And I'm actually, I'll get a bit unorthodox here. I'm going to talk to Richard Stone, who I think is the chairman of Candover, and um, Malcolm Fallon. If you guys are in there, this is for you. I've got some numbers for you. So 47 years, which is how long Lalise has been in captivity. Uh, that's two years longer than I've been alive. So it's incomprehensible to me, and I guess most of you as well. And it's unacceptable, but I wondered what a human being would have to do to suffer the same fate. And I'm sorry to say this, because it's pretty grotesque, but I did a quick Google search yesterday. The terms were 47 years in prison. And there was a guy just earlier this month who was uh, sentenced to 47 years in prison. Do you know why? Because he killed four children. So I apologize for bringing that up, but could there be a, a, a greater indication of, of this, this belief that humans have got that we're superior? That 47 years in prison for killing four kids and we've just inflicted that onto an innocent, sentient creature for numbers, for money, for profit and entertainment. And it's not like there's nowhere else to get profit and entertainment from. So for Candover, who spent 29 million, is it, in, in this particular endeavor, I bet that's a pittance in the grand scheme of things. Where's the wind coming from? And um, it'd be nice to see them pull out, you know, just, just do the right thing for once. Because I've seen these wonderful, familiar faces I always see. The same compassionate, loving, caring, kind-hearted people at all these different events. And my, but what about these guys? I want to know when these guys are going to step up. One of them is going to just have to be courageous one day, just step up and do the right thing. Yeah, you. What kind of a legacy do you want to leave? Do you just want to make people wealthy? Or do you want to do the right thing? Because I'll tell you what, for myself personally and from the people I see around me, we, we have a thing called empathy, and that's the only reason we're here. I was just chatting to someone on the way down. None of us, I don't know about you guys, I've never met Lolita, probably never will, and I certainly won't get a thank you from her. But that's not why we're here. We're here because we've got empathy and compassion. So in my opinion, we're the wealthy ones. You can make as much money in the world as you want, but I tell you, we wouldn't sell that compassion or empathy for any amount of money in the world. So all I want is for someone in there to just step up and do the right thing. And 29 million quid, I'm sorry, but that's probably pennies in the grand scheme of things. So you can afford to do it. And if it's still about numbers, if it's still about you, you need some motivation, well, I think that I'm right in saying that all could travel an average of 75 miles a day. Well, if you do the, the maths, and I needed a calculator, by the way, um, in 47 years, that's 1.3 million miles we've deprived her of. And that's like going to the moon and back three times. This is incomprehensible. And why is for profit and entertainment? And that's not acceptable. That's, and it's, uh, it's unnecessary. There's innumerable ways people can entertain. They've got the cinema, they've got anything they want to do that doesn't involve cruelty. And there's a million ways people can make money. It doesn't require an animal in captivity. So I'd like to see some of these people just step up for once and join us and do the right thing and leave that legacy. And actually, we, you know, even if it's the, the fact you can make some money elsewhere and there's a sea sanctuary planned, the retirement plan is, I believe, this philanthropist who offered money for it. And so it's not even about it's going to cost you a bunch of money. And as Rico Barry eloquently put at one of these miracle marches previously, you can still make money from Lolita because she's not going to be wild and free. She's, she's going to be in a sea pen. And guess what? If you took that route and put her in a sea pen, not only would you still be able to get people to that pen and entertain them, if that's what you think it is, but you'd suddenly have all the conservation groups backing you, promoting you. So I actually would go as far as to say you'd probably make more money by doing that. So just be brave and do it. Because frankly, I don't think any of us here care 
how you get there, whether you do it because the money is the motivation or whether you have some kind of a spiritual epiphany and suddenly wake up and realize that you've been doing the wrong thing. We don't really care how you do it or why you do it. We just care that you do it. So please do it. Free Lolita. Thank you.